going on everyone? Dark Side Phil here, and uh, I just got back from New York Comic Con 2011, and uh, before I even get started, I would like to say I had a lot of fun. I'm still finding things, money in my pocket and shit. Uh, I had a lot of fun, uh, not only because of the fact that I got to hang out with my friends, but also the fact that I got to meet a lot of fans while I was there. Uh, which was really, really neat. Lots of, you know, a lot more people than I even ex thought, uh, expected to meet uh, ended up showing up uh, and saying hi, which was cool. And I apologize to the people who couldn't find me while I was there. I know I wasn't always at uh, OJ's booth, like I said, you know, that we, were, we would be for some of the event. And some people, unfortunately, missed me. But a lot of people did run into me eventually. Um, but yeah, what I like to do is make a couple videos here about the convention. The first video, which I'm starting right now, is... The acquisitions video, meaning I'd like to show everyone what I picked up, the neat stuff that I actually got at New York Comic Con 2011. Now, they were giving out some freebies. For the most part, what the freebies were, were like, oh, sit down and play the whole demo of this game and you get a t-shirt. Or, oh, play, you know, a game of a certain fighter uh, during a certain period of time, and if you win your match, we'll give you a, a, a lanyard or a pin or some silly stuff like that. So the free swag, to be completely honest, wasn't that great to the point where, like, I didn't really even care. Uh, they actually were handing out, like, bags of, with, like, a crappy t-shirt and some, like, little ads and junk on your way in. But the line to get in was an hour long, and I said, even though I had my ticket, I still had to wait in this line. I said, let's skip waiting for the bag, and we actually saved probably 20 minutes by doing that. Um, but what I'd like to show you are the things which I purchased while I was at Comic-Con. 2011, New York Comic Con 2011. So let's take a look. First of all, some games, which I didn't expect to stumble upon, but uh, of all places, I got these from the Play and Trade booth. And Play and Trade always has a presence in the uh, convention scene in this local area of New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, etc. This particular Play and Trade was not the one that John Rambo and I uh, are friendly with and know people from, but this Play and Trade was from New York. Uh, but I ended up getting a couple games. First of all, I've been building my collection of Mega Man X, and right now I have every single Mega Man X game except for X2 and X3. Well, I took care of that and found Mega Man X2 at Comic-Con uh, and picked it up for the SNES. And now the only one I'm missing is Mega Man X3. It was extremely expensive, but at the same time, I got to see the cartridge. The cartridge is in very good condition. I got a cool case for the game. And so I think it was worth the money. Uh, now, like I said, all I need, really need is Mega Man X3, and then I'll have, have every single Mega Man X, and possibly I'll do a uh, marathon like I did with the original Mega Man games la uh, earlier this year. And then in addition to this, something that I never, ever thought I would ever find, okay? The Lion King for SNES, new, sealed, holy shit, like never opened. That is so freaking rare to find a game that was a popular game by the way this game was uh, not was not you know some generic game it was really popular it was sold out at a lot of places and i found it in new freaking condition so i thought that was really neat and that wasn't very pricey at all that was actually a steal so those are the two games that i picked up okay um i also picked up some cool shirts and i will give you a plug for this company once i show you these cool shirts so first of all, I got Proto Man. Looks really sweet, huh? Nice Proto Man face, okay, on a red shirt. Thought that was neat. And then I also got, here we go, this is a really cool one. You've got Boo, but here's the thing. On the front of the shirt, Boo from, from Super Mario Brothers. It's happy, like he's coming straight at you, but then at the back of the shirt, I'm sorry, I did that backwards. On the front of the shirt, Boo is covering his face, because just like in Mario Brothers, when you look at Boo, they get shy and they cover their faces, but then on the back of the shirt, he's coming after you, so he's sneaking up on you from behind. Really cool, and this shirt is actually glow-in-the-dark, so if you're in a dark room, it'll actually glow and show the Boo, which is really cool. I thought that was a really neat shirt, so that's two shirts. And then the last one that I picked up is actually funny because the deal was if you buy three shirts, you get one for like half price. I said, all right, I'll get a third one. And everyone makes this joke all the time. 
I'm just gonna let it speak for itself, and you'll probably get the joke, okay? Pretty cool, right? So, I got those three shirts, and because I purchased three shirts, uh, you've already seen this in a previous video if you've watched all the other videos from the con uh, coverage that I did, but I will show it to you again regardless. They gave me this free, for free, this poster, hand-drawn, every Mega Man boss from Mega Man 1 to Mega Man 10. Every single Robot Master has been drawn by the artist onto this, uh, this poster. Really neat artwork. Yeah, as you know, I'm a big fan of Mega Man. This is fucking neat. And it's actually cool to put all of the bosses at a glance because you get to look and actually start to compare some of them and see which ones are really similar while which ones are way different. Like here, Fireman, Flame Man, Magma Man, and I'm sure, I think there was another Heat Man. And there might even be another, like, Flame type boss. And then you have, like... Sword Man, but then wait a minute, there was also Night Man over here, but wait a minute, you know? So it's really cool to see them all on one thing and be able to actually compare them to each other. Uh, and that is a really neat poster and a really neat extra that I'm glad that they, uh, they gave to me. So all of what I just showed you, of course they have way, way more shirts, but to be completely honest, I have so many gaming shirts at this point that uh, pretty much every day I just wear another gaming shirt. I have so many of them. And I realized that, and uh, but I still I said you know what I couldn't I couldn't resist. I saw the shirts, I really liked the shirts, and I had to grab them. But if you're interested in this these shirts or uh, any of this merch like this poster or whatever, the company is SharkRobot.com. Okay, gaming related apparel, gaming related artwork. Check them out, SharkRobot.com. Okay. And then last but not definitely not least, okay. I knew that New York Comic Con, similar to when I went to Too Many Games, it was going to feature a lot of artists. And I looked at a lot of the different kinds of art, and there was one guy who he primarily was painting. He's an artist, a painter. Primarily painted Star Wars. And I really liked his art style. His art style was very striking to me, very unique. I really liked the detail he put into his paintings and the, the method of the way that he did his paintings as well. But... I'm not exactly a huge Star Wars fan. You know, I watch the movies, but I'm not, like, super into it. And then all of a sudden, out of all the paintings he had up, I saw one and I said, wow, that one is really fucking cool. And uh, let me tell you, the guy's a great guy. We talked for a little bit. He was completely willing to lower the price and haggle with me if I was willing to buy the painting outright. And I actually was able to get this painting for just a little bit over half of what the original price tag was for this painting. I think it's going to blow you away, okay, because it blew me away. So get ready, here it comes. It is Doctor Doom from Marvel Comics in a super cool artistic style, all right? Texture, just the texture of the paint on the canvas, it makes it look so neat and so original. And, uh... Probably one of the best renditions of Doctor Doom I've ever seen in my entire life. And, uh, you know, I am a Marvel Comics fan. I like Doctor Doom as a villain. He's always been one of the most intelligent and conniving villains. And he always finds a way to show up and fuck, with it, fuck up with your shit and come out on top in the end. And, uh, really freaking awesome painting. Uh, I'm really looking forward to finding a place to hang it. I have to figure out where exactly I want to put it here in my condo. But, uh... What I'd like to do is give this guy a plug because his artwork, in my opinion, his artwork is great. And he actually said to me, he said, I'm actually planning now on starting to do more comic book characters versus just Star Wars. And I said, listen, dude, the best advice I can give you, do Marvel characters because people want to see this kind of art. It's, it's hard to get. You know, Star Wars, it's been done. Star Wars has been around for a long-ass time. This kind of stuff in this professional artistic style has not really been done much. And so that was my advice to him. Go ahead and do this more than anything else. So I really hope he listens to me. But anyway, I haven't even checked it out yet, his website, to see where he's even based out of. I'm sure he's local, or at least some semi-local, meaning in the, the couple of states around here. But uh, yeah, his website is MikeMadak.com, okay, spelled M-A-Y-D-A-K. I think he actually has it right there, MikeMadak.com, M-A-Y-D-A-K. So if you're interested in his artwork, check it out. He actually has another art thing. This is like a robot 
I don't know how well you can see that, but like a robot kind of a deal, which he had this original painting there for sale as well, but I don't even know what this robot is. I liked Doctor Doom, and I picked it up, so. Okay, so those were my acquisitions for the tournament. Um, stay tuned, because I'm going to make one more video, and in this video, I'm actually going to talk about my overall impressions of the tournament. I just said of the tournament, didn't I? Of the convention, of the Comic Con. Uh, I'm going to make one more video of my overall impressions of the convention, uh, of what we saw when we were there, and actually I'm going to talk specifically about some of the games that I either got hands-on experience or watched people play while I was there, and I'll let you know what I thought. Really cool, all the games I got to see. Uh, exactly as I had planned, as I had thought, I got to see a lot of the games that are being coming out in the next couple of weeks, and even early 2012. So, stay tuned, I'll be back with that video. Check it out.